I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the Main Report after the big Macquarie Group AGM at Melbourne's Crown Casino. Now the first ever AGM in Melbourne was hopefully going to throw up a Jack Tilburn free discussion. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So Mr Clark, it is unacceptable and inexcusable on ethical and moral principles and reasons from the Curry Bank Cards Limited to be associated with this awful, heinous, terrible <laughs> body corporate services company. The big thing today was how new CEO Nicholas Moore performed when put under the pump. Now I have to say, he was a little bit nervous at times. Europe and the Middle East, you'll see, is, is, is very, uh, a very substantial part of the business at one and a half billion dollars, and America at just a, a bit under a, a, billion, a billion dollars. The big debate for the day was whether the Macquarie model is actually broken. And I put it to them that this parrot was dead. That parrot is definitely deceased. Uh, we've got the situation at the moment where MIG closed last night at $2.35, yet our auditors and our directors claim it has a net tangible asset backing of $4.59. And in the case of Macquarie Airports, it was around $2.40 last night, and there's a claimed NTA of just over $5. So the situation there is that it's dead. The market is valuing MIG and MAP collectively at $10 billion, and we're saying they're worth $20 billion. Now this is unprecedented. There is such a valuation discount being applied by the public markets that clearly... This parrot is no more. It has ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. It's not sustainable. We have to do something about it. I think it's a little bit unfair to characterise what we're seeing in the global real estate market and what we're seeing in the, in the infrastructure market in particular here as being an issue about Macquarie. Beautiful plumage, isn't it? And about external management. To be fair, if you took a step back from the Macquarie specific situation and looked at the market, you'll see that... It's not that it's resting. All assets in these categories, all companies in these categories, are suffering a similar valuation story in the market. No, no, it's stunned. So whether you're looking at internally managed property companies or infrastructure companies indeed, or externally managed property companies or infrastructure companies, I think you'll see that the fall in value is the same. Then it moved. So, so I, I don't think there is an argument to say that this is an issue of external management uh, versus, versus internal management. Well, I'd better replace it then. As an investor in all these funds, I'm very unhappy with the lack of action in MIG and MAP and the lack of realisation that the world has changed and that there is a huge governance discount and there is a huge capital strike. So why are you sitting there and saying, that's not a dead parrot, when it is a dead parrot? Hello, Polly! <laughs> Polly! I'm Stephen Main. Just keep doing your best.